First of all, for those that don't know you, I mean, I, just in case there's somebody in Timbuktu sure. listening right now, who are you? <laughs> Hello, hi, I'm Sasha, and uh, I'm a dating coach for men. I help men get a little bit more umph in their lives so they feel good about themselves and they go out there and flirt with more women and get themselves a girlfriend or a wife if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Perfect. So we're talking a little bit about uh, self-defense and such, and I'm a gun guy, and I'm just wondering, what do you have any ideas for how somebody might de-escalate the situation so you don't have to use your fists or a gun or something like that? Oh, see, you don't, yeah, you got them. When you're a fighter with a fist, you just want to use the fists. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, well, first of all, my background is a comedian, so the first thing I would say is you, you could use humor to de-escalate the situ situation. So if somebody's yelling at you or they're getting a little aggressive, uh, you might say something like, hey, you know, you don't want to fight me. I'll probably just fall over and hurt myself, and then you're going to get sued. You know, it's really not worth it. Um, <laughs> so, so, so really just, be, you know, just, be, be, you know, making fun of the whole situation. You know, you know like, uh, say it's over a parking space. It's like, dude, is it, is it really worth it for someone to get hurt just over a parking space, honestly? You know, think about how, you know, we're going to look back at this and think this was a really bad idea. So really trying to give somebody, using humor and giving someone a little bit of perspective at the same time can be really effective. It's almost like you're giving friendly advice also. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, also, just, you know, a lot of people argue because they, they don't want to admit that they're wrong or they don't want to let the other person win. But if you put your ego on the side, let the other person win. Just just say, hey, you know what, you're right. You're right, let them have whatever they want. Because, when, again, when you look back on it, sure, you're in that moment, you're heated about it, you're pissed off, but actually a year later, it wouldn't have mattered at all. So just let them be right, let them have whatever it is that they want. Um, and, and just just accept that you're you know you're helping somebody, and you're actually doing a good deed. <laughs> you know what I mean. So let right. them, let them win. Everyone's obsessed. I have to win. I'm right. It doesn't matter if you're right. It's not worth getting in, you know into a fight or getting stabbed or, or having to shoot someone or being shot. So just let them have whatever it is that uh, that they want, and accept that uh, you're actually taking the higher ground by by being able to remove your ego and actually you know to do that. Right. That's so if you can thing. safely walk away from it and maybe even make a friend out of it, share a smile. Absolutely. And not only, another thing I would say is, you know, what I've noticed is most people are really lazy in life and they're not going to chase you. So really, if it's coming down to it, I've done this before. I've actually said to someone, hey, you know what? Hang on one second. I'll be right back and I'll just leave. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave. I like it. And like, I, I, you know, just as you're getting into it, it's like, hang on a second. One second. I, I just got to do, I, you know, my, my friend's just over here. Walk away. Just keep walking. <laughs> keep walking. And then they start following you, just start running. And then no one is going to chase you because people are lazy. No one is going to chase you. So it'd be weird to just start running in the moment. But if you say, hang on one second, you can almost, you can almost actually act like you're just going for your phone, like your phone's ringing. So you can just go, hang on one second. And you literally go for your phone and just, just, just take a couple steps like you're just going on your phone and just keep walking away. <laughs> Don't come back. And that's it. So what are they going to do? They're going to run after you? They're going to run after you. Nobody wants, you know, nobody can be bothered. Not worth the effort. And one last thing I would say is point out that you're not actually their enemy and that you're actually on the same side as them. You know, because a lot of people, they get aggressive because they think they see you as their opponent. When you actually say, you know what, I'm actually on your side. If I was in your situation, I would think the exact same thing. However, here, here's actually what I meant or here's actually what happened. But we're actually on the same side. We're not enemies. There's no reason for us to be enemies. And, and maybe point out who is the enemy. So maybe if you can frame it like actually the government is the enemy or this third party that's actually put us in a situation and they're the enemy, actually it's, it's not us. If you take it down one step to the fact that we're just normal people and actually some outside source is the enemy, not us, you can actually create an ally and then you can sort of you know walk away as friends like you said before and everybody wins. Awesome. Good advice. Thank you, Sasha. And I'm going to put uh, your link in the comments down below. Please subscribe to Sasha's YouTube channel. And hey, subscribe to ours as well. Don't use your gun unless you have to.